What's going on, everybody? Modok has released as of last night. Um, so I want to show you guys the first deck. I've been messing around with him. It's kind of like a collector deck that we've tossed a kind of small discard package into. Uh, so we've got our Quinjet. You've got Collector, Sentinel. Uh, we're playing Coulson and Nick Fury just because I really like those two cards and I wanted to play them. Um, those are kind of our card generation cards uh, with Moon Girl, I guess, to copy your hand as well. Um, then we've got Strong Guy to hopefully empty our hand at some point with a big Modok or Hellcow to help out. Uh, Morbius is in there because we can regularly get him between, you know, 6 and 12 power, which is pretty crazy. Um, we've got Colleen in here just because she's pretty strong power, and I know we have a lot of competition to discarding Swarm, but if you can hit a Swarm early, it's still pretty good. Um, I, I think it's doable, and she's just pretty solid power for the cost. Uh, so that's something I like to have in there. Um, but it's really just centered around, you know, generate cards to hand to buff up your collector, Moon Girl to probably get double Morbius if you can, get all those Morbius out with a strong guy, play Modok to dump your hand, and hopefully that should be enough power to win the game. I don't think this can go to toe-to-toe -to -toe with the unnerfed Zabu lists or the unnerfed Serval Surfer lists. I don't necessarily think this can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them after those nerfs either or some of the other good decks in the game, but I will say my initial knee-jerk reaction of Modok so far is that he is a ton of fun and this is kind of the exact thing that I want our Season Pass cards to be or just new cards in general. Uh, just cards that are a lot of fun, make you play the cards in a new way or a different way. Um, kind of add an interesting twist to existing archetypes or maybe open up a brand new archetype. Um, that's exactly what I want from these seasonal cards. Uh, but, tangent aside, let's hop on into Texas Longhorns fan. We did draw most of our chunky cards right off the bat, which is not ideal. But, we have enough cheap cards where we could probably be pretty confident that we'll draw something cheap soon. That sunspot's gonna be a problem. Camartage. That's pretty interesting. I don't know if I want two Sentinel. If I play this, I'll go up to six cards. I guess it's technically fine. It does make, for example, a... Um... I guess I'm not drawing any cards this turn anyway, so it doesn't matter. Draw rocks. That's really bad. Okay, I have a coin jet. not good. I really don't think we're going to be able to win this. some point if I want to activate strong guy I need to get him out before Modok. I need to get the swarm out before Modok as well. Let's just try this for now. I think Fury is not gonna help us. If I double Modok That'll just make it so I can guarantee that I play whatever I draw next turn, and I'll have three Swarm to play. I think it's okay, but I assume we're gonna probably see, like, double Darkhawk coming soon. Or, like, Darkhawk plus Mystique kind of thing. We're gonna play it out. I'm fairly sure that's what we're gonna see in these last two turns. Well, now our 
Our uh, strong guy cannot be turned on because we drew Coulson. Which is unfortunate. So if that's the route we're gonna go, I don't think I can ever beat that lane either. We need to play that here. Or do I want Collector here? No, I have to play Coulson there to get the double cards. Alright, I'm fairly sure we lose this, but let's see. Titania, Titania. We actually did not lose that by that much. This was actually far closer than it should have been. I don't think I could have played anything to overtake this lane with what I had in hand, but it was still fairly close. Um, that double Widow's Bite absolutely destroyed us. Uh, let's hop on into the next one, though. Alrighty, we've matched up with Zarain. Alright, this, this hand is looking more promising. I really don't want all my stuff turned into Hulks, though. Probably should have just done it. Looks like they're playing something similar. I could probably toss a swarm onto there. I'm gonna try and make them think that we're not really gonna contest Gamma Lab all that much. That works actually. Sentinel is like no cost investment besides the energy. That's really good for them. Now, Quinjet can hold down Death's Domain as long as they're not running something like Doctor Doom or Jubilee, which you have to assume is pretty likely that they are. Now, what if I did something like this? Maybe I don't just sack the Moon Girl and I play something like that, so I can go like Hell Cow, something else next turn. Invisible Woman, okay. Wave. That sucks. I mean, I can't play anything really, so. I guess we'll just get out the Hell Cow. I assume that they're gonna have like a Doctor Doom or something. No, oh, there's a Jubilee. Okay. Okay, so they got their Hella early, which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing for us. We could do this. Into this, into this. That about add three cards to our hand. I think we want to at least have one spot open. that. Alrighty, we've matched up against FBM. With Nexus going on. Nexus is interesting, but ultimately I think Nexus does not work to our advantage for the most part. But we will do what we can. This looks like it's probably going to be either a regular discard or like a hella deck. Don't love our odds against the Hella deck. Ooh, 
Morb is good. Morb is good. Oh, Cerebro 3. Alright, okay. this work in our favor that there's double big house? I feel like no. But like one MODOK could completely change this game. Instead we're gonna get a Colson. We win this without drawing Modok. And even still, it might be a tough ask. They could easily just Rhino the Nexus line if they think they're gonna kill I us, am. or just play that. did something like this would we'll discard two cards so it'd give us plus four plus potentially it doesn't get us high enough there but it might get us high enough elsewhere to compete for them I don't think we win this one but we'll play it out We have a small chance if Hellcow hits Swarm twice, which it's not going to. Yeah, if it would have hit Swarm again, we actually would have won. That's what we needed, was Hellcow to hit Swarm twice, which obviously you couldn't count on in that scenario, it was very low odds. Uh, but. When we're playing for content, we're going to try for things like that. Uh, let's get on to the next game. Matchup against Void. You know, for being a, a gameplay where we're trying to highlight some MODOK plays, MODOK's not really showing himself. He's kind of hiding on us. I have Collector and Morbius. I just think it's going to be a little bit too slow to get going. Like, this deck as a whole would have been super strong, like, three months ago. Maybe a little bit more than that. But, like, earlier in the game's life cycle. We have MODOK. So we're at least cruising there. But now where we go from here, I don't know. We see Ant-Man, we see Angela, we see Electro. We see Hellcow. Guess we just play Colson. He'll give us a three and a four, so we could potentially play Colleen Wing plus whatever the three is. Oh no, it's a four and a five. play strong guy here next turn I move collector and no collector's gonna be really weak actually but my Morbius will be around 12 power so that's pretty good it's a matter of do I try and keep fighting for need a Velier might have to so 
especially with Iron Man in play now. That swarm is gonna turn off my strong guy, unfortunately. I think 12 can beat this lane. Or should I go for Colleen Wing plus Hellcow? That'll discard three instead of five, but the same power will be over here. And then we'll be a little bit stronger over here. I think I like that better. Okay, we're gonna steal one there. A little sneaky one, but we'll steal it. Victory. Unfortunately, the one time Modok shows up, I think it was probably the better play to not play Modok there, but. <laughs> It is what it is. Let's hop on into another one. All right. Matched up against Valentine now. I think Morbius is higher priority than Collector. Oh, we have a fellow man of culture. Here we go. Next turn could be a Moon Girl turn. Morbius versus Morbius. Oh, with a Modok. All right, now we're like cooking. We are cooking here. Question is, I think we go strong guy into swarm. But is that better? Because then we have to like get rid of all of our discards to make that happen. Or do I just play Modok now and then just play whatever I get off the top next turn? Do that. Now, if they have a, uh, a, um, Shang-Chi, it's not going to be fun for us. I mean, we can play. Now, the unfortunate thing is, if they Shang-Chi here, they'll get three. And then Dracula will discard this, which will double this, turn it to eight power, so they'll have 11 here. So I don't even know if it's worth stacking that lane even more. We should probably just go triple into Swarm. I think we'll just do that. Apocalypse at the end got real big. But we got to do some Modoc shenanigans. Collector got up to 9 power. Morbius was 12 power. Everything we wanted to do there worked out. That was awesome. Let's get another one against Grant. Honestly, if nothing else happens the rest of this video, I got that Modoc gameplay we wanted. I feel better about myself. Blade into Hellcow. Okay. Morag is interesting. 
We don't have a lot to say about that place. I'm gonna play out a swarm. We've got rocks. We have Modok, so I don't need to like really stack Morbius too hard. I think we should be more concerned with getting stuff into Morag. Oh, we get a Moon Girl from that. What if I go Leech this turn? And then next turn, Collector Moon Girl. This would be good if they're running Apocalypse. Did help them buff Washington DC here. This is okay, I think. If that was a little cheaper, and I could have gone Modoc Moon Girl, I would have done that. So Morbius will get plus six, so plus 12. Won't be enough to take Washington DC, so I have to play Modoc there. And then... That doesn't wind up quite strong enough. Unless I go Swarm Modoc, but then we only discard five, and Collector doesn't get any stronger from that. But he will get stronger than if I just discarded the Swarm anyway. Unless I do Modoc, this will get plus 10, so this will take this easy. Get an extra three here, nothing here. But I think I like those odds better. They only have one card, so I don't think they will be able to take both locations. Nice, okay. That worked out quite well as well. Alrighty, we're gonna try and have this be our last one against Sushik. That's a good one to pull here. I do like me some one cost sentinels. Testing the lizard. We've drawn ourselves a morb. That's pretty solid. We'll just get another sentinel out for now. Trying to keep our hand full, trying to make sure we keep Muir Island contested. I don't think we can fight a Zabu deck, but we will try our best. Strong guy. If we top deck a swarm, I think we'll probably Modoc next turn. If we don't top deck swarm, I don't know. I think you want to try and have Modoc be your last play if you're trying to activate your strong guy. Okay. I don't think we ever can win Muir Island now. Just 
Modok and see what happens. Just discard four. They have a lot of cards in hand still. They could be playing Spectrum to try and make this really big, in which case I want to turn off the Omega Red. The only problem is we'd be playing out a big power card for a location we're never going to win. So I think we have to go this way. This is definitely going to be an unreveal Spectrum type thing. The question becomes, can I beat Spectrum plus the extra four power they're going to get? Or if they play Destroyer, they get plus 16 power, they'll be at 26. I'm adding 13. I'm adding 19. I'll be at 24. So if it's Destroyer, we lose. If it's Spectrum, we're fine. Let's find out. Mr. Fantastic, that's okay. Luke Cage is also okay. So I guess they didn't draw their Spectrum. And I think we're gonna take that. That's a good game. We had to pivot away from Omega Red. We had no chance to win that, but Victory. honestly, even with Spectrum here, they would have gone up to nine power, and then these two would have been buffed by four. So basically, still would have been less power than this. I think we've been okay. Destroyer was the biggest play there that would have beat us down. But I will take it, because that worked out really, really well, and I got to have Nick Fury be the game-winning play. So I will take that ten times out of ten. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for now, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. Uh, we'll probably mess around with some more Modoc decks. If you guys have suggestions or deck lists you want to see me try, drop them down below in the comment section. We'll give them a whirl. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.